what cofactors do you, uh, are you aware of that you need to make that conversion so that you're actually ending up with melatonin? Well, in, for example, a conversion of serotonin to n acetylserotonin which is then converted to melatonin, that enzyme seems to be determine the amount of melatonin. As, that is the rate limiting and called n acetyltransferase or alkyl alamine n acetyltransferase. A very important cofactor is required for that step, and that is acetyl coenzyme A. Well, acetyl coenzyme A is produced in mitochondria from pyruvate, and cancer cells and many other pathological cells exclude pyruvate from the mitochondria. And we predicted a number of years ago that they would have less melatonin in their mitochondria. And we now know we have a paper and press showing that that's exactly the case. They only produce about half, acetyl-CoA can be produced by some other roots, fatty acid oxidation in the mitochondria and so forth, but they do not not produce as much melatonin as we think they should. And since melatonin is an anti-cancer agent, if these cancer cells are not producing melatonin or enough melatonin, that may also contribute to their the fact that they grow out of control. So 